What is up bros? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jet setting off to a country that's close to my heart, and geographically close to me but that's not important. We're talking about Sweden. Get ready for some epic adventures because we're about to dive into the top places you absolutely have to visit. And don't worry, I'll be giving you the lowdown on the pros and cons of each place, you know, just like how I rant about the weird stuff I find on the internet. Let's do this. First up, we've got Stockholm, the capital city and a total showstopper. Imagine this, cobblestone streets, colorful buildings and more history than you can shake a stick at. This place has got it all, from Viking history to royal palaces. You can explore the Vasa Museum, home to a freaking huge 17th century warship, or wander through Gamla Stan, the old town with its charming cafes and shops. But hey, no place is perfect, right? Stockholm can be a bit pricey, that's for sure. And let's be real, navigating public transport can be a bit of a maze, especially if you're used to just hopping in your car. But hey, that's part of the adventure, right? Next stop, Gothenburg. This West Coast gem is like Stockholm's cooler younger brother. It's got a more laid-back vibe, with canals, parks, and a killer food scene. Make sure to check out the Haga district for some seriously charming wooden houses and cozy cafes. And if you're a seafood fanatic like me, you're in for a treat. Gothenburg is known for its fresh catches, so get ready to feast. Now Gothenburg might not have as many must-see attractions as Stockholm, but that's kind of the beauty of it. It's more about soaking in the atmosphere, exploring the different neighborhoods, and just enjoying the chill vibes. Chapter 3 Malmo Modern Architecture Meets Medieval History Welcome to a city where the past and the future coexist in a fascinating blend. Malmo, located in the southern part of Sweden, is a place where you can witness the seamless integration of modern architectural marvels with historical landmarks. Now let's head south to Malmo, a city that's a unique blend of old and new. This city is a living testament to how history and modernity can complement each other, creating a vibrant and dynamic urban landscape. On one hand, you've got Turning Torso, this super modern skyscraper that twists like it's doing a magic trick. Designed by the renowned architect Santiago Calatrava, this building is not just a feat of engineering, but also a piece of art. Standing at 190 meters, it is the tallest building in Scandinavia and has become an iconic symbol of modern Malmo. On the other hand, you've got Malmohus Castle, a 16th century fortress that's seen some serious history. This castle, originally built in the 1430s and later rebuilt in the 16th century, has served various purposes over the centuries, from a royal residence to a prison. Today, it houses several museums, including the Malmo Art Museum and the Museum of Natural History, offering visitors a glimpse into the rich history and culture of the region. Malmo is also known for its multicultural vibe with people from all over the world calling it home. This diversity is reflected in the city's vibrant cultural scene, where you can experience a wide range of traditions, languages, and cuisines. The city's multiculturalism is one of its greatest strengths, fostering a sense of community and inclusivity. This means you'll find an awesome mix of restaurants, shops, and cultural experiences. From traditional Swedish eateries to international cuisine, Malmo's food scene is a culinary adventure waiting to be explored. The city's shopping districts offer everything from high-end boutiques to quirky local shops, ensuring there's something for everyone. One thing to keep in mind is that Malmo is a bit spread out, so you might find yourself relying on public transport or renting a bike to get around. The city's public transport system is efficient and well-connected, making it easy to navigate. Alternatively, renting a bike is a popular option, allowing you to explore the city at your own pace while enjoying the scenic views. But hey, that's a good way to burn off all those Swedish meatballs you'll be eating. Malmo's culinary delights are not to be missed, and biking around the city is a great way to work up an appetite. Whether you're indulging in traditional Swedish dishes or trying out international flavors, the city's food scene is sure to satisfy your taste buds. In addition to its architectural wonders and cultural experiences, Malmo is also home to numerous parks and green spaces. These areas provide a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of city life offering a chance to relax and unwind. Whether you're taking a leisurely stroll through Kungsparken or enjoying a picnic in Pildumsparken, the city's green spaces are perfect for outdoor activities and relaxation. Throughout the year, Malmo hosts a variety of festivals and events that celebrate its rich cultural heritage and vibrant community. From music festivals to food fairs, there's always something happening in the city. 
These events provide a great opportunity to experience the local culture and connect with the community. Malmo is also a leader in sustainable living with numerous initiatives aimed at reducing the city's environmental impact. From eco-friendly buildings to green transportation options, the city is committed to creating a sustainable future. Visitors can learn about these initiatives and even participate in eco-friendly activities during their stay. As the sun sets, Malmo's skyline transforms into a mesmerizing display of lights. The city's modern architecture and historical landmarks are beautifully illuminated, creating a stunning visual contrast. Whether you're enjoying a night out in the city or simply taking in the views, Malmo's nighttime scenery is truly captivating. Ultimately, what makes Malmo truly special is its people. The locals are known for their friendliness and hospitality, making visitors feel welcome and at home. Whether you're exploring the city's attractions or simply enjoying a coffee at a local cafe, the warmth and charm of Malmo's residents will leave a lasting impression. So whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply looking for a unique travel experience, Malmo has something to offer. This city, where modern architecture meets medieval history, is a testament to the beauty of blending the old with the new. Come and discover the magic of Malmo for yourself. Title, Kiruna Adventures in the Arctic Circle. All right, bros, get ready for something completely different. We're about to embark on an adventure that will take us to one of the most unique and breathtaking places on Earth. We're heading north to Kiruna, a town located within the Arctic Circle. This isn't just any ordinary town, it's a place where the extraordinary becomes the norm. This place is all about epic landscapes, outdoor adventures and maybe even a glimpse of the northern lights if you're lucky. Imagine standing under a sky painted with vibrant hues of green and purple, a natural light show that leaves you in awe. You can go dog sledding, snowmobiling, ice fishing or just chill out in an ice hotel. How cool is that? Picture yourself being pulled by a team of enthusiastic huskies through a snowy wilderness or racing across frozen lakes on a snowmobile. And if you're into fishing, try your hand at ice fishing, where you can catch some of the freshest fish you'll ever taste. Now, Karuna is pretty remote, so getting there can be a bit of a trek. But that's part of the charm, right? The journey itself is an adventure, taking you through some of the most stunning and untouched landscapes in the world. And let's be real, it's not exactly the warmest place on Earth. Temperatures can drop to extreme lows, but that's what makes it so exhilarating. The cold air is crisp and refreshing and the snowy scenery is like something out of a fairy tale. But hey, that's part of the adventure, right? Embracing the cold and the challenges it brings is what makes the experience so rewarding. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and discovering the beauty of the Arctic in all its glory. Just make sure you pack your warmest clothes and prepare for some serious winter wonderland vibes. Layer up with thermal wear, heavy-duty jackets, and insulated boots. Trust me, you'll want to be as warm and comfortable as possible while you explore this icy paradise. While you're in Karuna, don't miss the chance to learn about the Sami culture. The Sami are the indigenous people of the region, and their traditions and way of life are deeply intertwined with the Arctic environment. You can visit a Sami village, try traditional Sami food, and even listen to Joak, the unique Sami form of song. One of the most fascinating aspects of Sami culture is reindeer herding. You might get the opportunity to see a reindeer herd up close and learn about the important role these animals play in Sami life. It's a truly unique experience that gives you a deeper understanding of the Arctic way of life. Depending on when you visit, you might experience the midnight sun or the polar night. During the summer months, the sun never sets, bathing the landscape in a surreal, continuous daylight. In contrast, the winter months bring the polar night, where darkness prevails, creating a mysterious and enchanting atmosphere. Don't forget to visit the Kiruna Church, one of Sweden's largest wooden buildings. Its unique architecture and serene interior make it a must-see. The church is a symbol of the town's history and resilience, standing strong amidst the harsh Arctic conditions. Another interesting spot is the LKAB Iron Ore Mine, one of the world's largest and most modern underground mines. You can take a guided tour to learn about the mining process and its significance to the local economy. It's a fascinating glimpse into the industrial side of this remote town, and of course don't miss out on the local cuisine. From hearty stews to fresh fish, the food in Karuna is designed to keep you warm and satisfied. Try some traditional dishes like reindeer meat or arctic char, and wash it down with a cup of hot lingonberry juice. So, if you're looking for an adventure that's off the beaten path, Karuna in the Arctic Circle is the place to be. 
It's a destination that offers a perfect blend of natural beauty, cultural richness, and thrilling activities. Pack your bags, embrace the cold, and get ready for an unforgettable journey into the heart of the Arctic. Chapter 5. Visby Step Back in Time on a Medieval Island Last but not least, we're sailing over to Visby, a charming town on the island of Gotland. This picturesque town is a hidden gem in the Baltic Sea, known for its rich history and stunning medieval architecture. As you approach the island, the first thing you'll notice is the impressive medieval walls that encircle the town, standing as a testament to its storied past. This place is like stepping back in time, with its medieval walls, cobblestone streets and ancient ruins. Walking through Visby feels like you're wandering through a living museum, where every corner has a story to tell. The cobblestone streets are lined with charming houses, each with its own unique character and history. Seriously, it's like something out of a history book. The town's medieval charm is palpable, and you can almost imagine knights and merchants going about their daily lives centuries ago. The well-preserved buildings and ruins give you a glimpse into what life was like during the Middle Ages. Explore the well-preserved town center, check out the Visby Cathedral, and soak in the unique atmosphere. The Visby Cathedral with its stunning Gothic architecture is a must-visit. It stands as a symbol of the town's historical and cultural significance. As you wander through the town center, you'll come across quaint shops, cozy cafes, and local markets that offer a taste of Visby's vibrant community. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even explore the island's coastline with its sandy beaches and dramatic cliffs. The natural beauty of Gotland is breathtaking, with its rugged cliffs providing stunning views of the Baltic Sea. The sandy beaches are perfect for a relaxing day by the water, and the clear blue waters are inviting for a refreshing swim. Now Visby is a popular tourist destination, especially during the summer months, so it can get a bit crowded. The town comes alive with festivals, events, and activities that celebrate its rich heritage. The medieval week, held every August, is a highlight, where the town transforms into a medieval fair with reenactments, markets, and performances. And since it's on an island, getting there involves a ferry ride, which can be a bit of a hassle. But the ferry ride itself is an adventure, offering stunning views of the sea and the surrounding islands. It's a great opportunity to relax and take in the beauty of the Baltic region, but trust me the journey is worth it. Once you arrive, you'll be captivated by the charm and beauty of Visby. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or just looking for a unique travel experience, Visby has something to offer. So pack your bags, hop on that ferry, and get ready to step back in time on this enchanting medieval island. Outro. So, where will you go? That's it for our whirlwind tour of Sweden. From the bustling streets of Stockholm to the Arctic landscapes of Karuna, Sweden has got something for everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to add this amazing country to your travel bucket list. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more epic travel adventures. And be sure to let me know in the comments which place in Sweden you'd love to visit most. Until next time bros.